We thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. We thank you, Lord, Father, for making us among, among your, the living and among your child in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. For all our sins in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Have mercy on us, Father. Any dream, any future career, all of us want to achieve in the future, Lord, Father, help us achieve it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We thank you, Father, for answering our prayers today. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Children, we um we are here again this evening into another day uh, for this program. And I want to really thank God for making it possible for you and I to connect this evening. I want to let you know that Jesus Christ cares about your life and about my life. That is why we are together in this evening. And I want to thank all of you children that was on last week program. And uh, I really thank God for such a program. But I said to all of you, that we are going to be having the next one next month, the last Sunday of next month. And I said to all of you, if you if you have given assignment before you have not done your recitation, continue to go ahead with it because the next one is coming up next month, the last Sunday, we will not change it. And if you have done, you have already recited last Sunday, you need to send me a message. If I have not sent you your recitation, send me a message so that I can send you your recitation so that you can join the program that is coming up the next, um, which is the last Sunday of, uh, of uh, August. It is very, very important. Please. Okay. Sir. Yes. Um, I wrote you and you didn't answer me, so I should I now do it to 13 again or should I? No, or should I one. get a new one. We we'll get a new one. We we'll get a new one. Because okay. I, I, I wrote you already through my mom's phone to your number and yes. you didn't answer yet. So. Send me your full name and your age. And I the, did. Okay, if you have done it, okay, I will answer you as soon as possible, okay? Yes, sir. Now we are going to this evening, children. We are going to another program. You remember before last Sunday, we treated a message about Jeremiah. Can someone remind me what was that topic? What was that topic? Who can remind me? I believe we studied that. Am I right? Eh? Before I found D, I ordained D. We treated that message. Am I right? Eh? Children, do we treat that message? Children, do we treat that message? Answer me if you are there, please. Yes, we treat that message in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1. Do we not treat that message favor? Yes, is, sir. But why do you people not keep me quiet? Do we treat that message? Eh? Yes, sir. Yeah, but if we have treated that message, why, why did you people keep quiet then? Precious, why did you not own your video? Emmanuel, why did you not own your video? Wendy, why did you on your video? On your video and sit down proper, please, and be with your Bible and your Jota and your Bible, please. Are we together now? We treated our message before. Before I found thee, I ordained thee to be my child. We treated our message, but this evening, we are going to the other part of that message. 
that say, show me now that way. Show me now that way. Show me now that way. So that's our topic? Yes, that okay. is the topic of today. Show me now that way. There is a need for you to know God's way. God's way in your life. Way or will? Way. Ah, okay. There is a need for you to know his way. If you don't know God's way, you cannot able to walk according to his direction. If you don't know his way in your life, you will make a lot of mistakes. But when you know his way, it will help you for you to live according to what is we. It is very, very important for you to know God's way. Many children today are living in error. Why? Because those children have not come to know God's way. But none of any child that know God's way can have problem in his journey or in his or her education. You can never have problem when you know God's way. Where you can have problem is only when you did not know his way. When you know God's way in your life, when other children that are in school, they are talking about boyfriend and girlfriend, or they are talking about uh, smoking or drinking or insulting their parents. I tell you, because you don't know God's way, you can't go to do that. Or the children, they are telling lies. They are telling lies. They are thief. But when you know God's way, you can't go to do that. Because you know him, and uh, the only thing you will be doing, how I can what, live for him. Are you understanding it now? There are many children out there, they don't have the fear of God. Why did they, don't, why did they not have the fear of God? Is it because their parents is not taking them to church? Their parents are taking them to church. Willie Fred, what is your name? Willie Fred. With Fred, daughter, what is your name? Divine. Divine, okay. You are welcome. I, I want you to leave your video Thank you. and then pay attention, okay? Why you see that there are many children today, but they are going to church with their mothers, with their fathers, uh. but they are religious children. Why did I say they are religious children? Because such children, they have not yet rooted with the word of God. They have not yet know God's way. They go to church because their mother tell them to go to church. If I may ask, is anybody here, you are not happy anytime your mom or your dad say, let's go to church? Or you are not happy anytime they ask you, you have a children's program, connect. Any child here, you are not happy. Just raise up your hand. Don't be shy. Just speak the truth. Oh, okay. Uh, Mir Miriam. Okay. God's way. Yes. Any other child? Just raise up your hand. You know that you are not happy whenever your mom or your dad disturb you. Anybody disturb you? Let's go to church. You are not happy. It, just, just, I want you to free, free your mind. To speak let's speak the truth let's speak to ourselves eh? don't lie you know that a child of god cannot lie you are here you are not happy whenever your mom said let's go to church or anytime your mom said there is a program there is a children's program is going on you need to join them you are not happy just wave your hand say i am here i am not happy i want to see your hand up anybody 
Okay. I can see. Okay. 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 Yes, it is very, very important. And then she speaks her mind. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Why is it so? Because she has not yet realized of what she's doing, that she's missing something great. What is that? When you are missing the relationship between you and God, you cannot enjoy all his benefit that belongs to you. Or to you, when you come to know his way, that is only when you can enjoy his benefit. That is only when you can enjoy his joy. Just as if you don't know what your mom or your dad like, maybe for instance, your mom and your daddy, they don't like that you are telling them lie, you are lying to them. When they find out that you are lying, they will not, there will be, they will not, uh, um, whenever you ask of something, they will not, uh, be, they will not be happy with you because each time you always lie to them. But when they find out that, yes, they trust you, they believe on you, because you know who, you know your parents very well, they don't want to see you, you are telling lies, or they don't want to see you are cheating. They don't want to see you join those children that are smoking. They don't want to see that you join those children that are talking about boyfriend and girlfriend. When they have this, uh, they, they, they know that you respect them. You know what they, you know what they used to, what they will do. Whenever you are in need, they will, they do everything possible to provide for you. Why? Because you know they are pretty simple and follow their principle. But when you don't, when you don't follow their way, I tell you, there will not be this love between you and them. There is a need of what? Of having this great love whenever you have come to what? You have come to the Lord. The Lord always will give you that blessing that belongs to you. It is very, very important. As you are going to school this period, when you know the will of God, you will know why you are in the school. So that as you are in school, you are a separate child. You are not, you can't join those children that are out there in the world. It is very, very important. Is it something we must know? Let's look at the book of Isodos. Exodus, we are, we are taking our Bible reading in Exodus chapter 33. Exodus chapter 33. God's way. Stand, just stop there. Don't do anything, please. Don't open your mind. Don't be raising your hand. Just listen and uh, write something and pay attention very well, please. Okay. Now we read Exodus chapter. 33, and let's look at a verse for 11, verse 11 to 14. Are we there? You are there, you can open your Bible and read. I'm there, sir. Okay, read, you are there. And the Lord speak unto Moses face to face, as the man spit it unto his friend, and he turned again into the camp. But he, his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, and young, a young man departed not out of the tabernacle. And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou said unto me, Bring up these people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. Now, therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, show me now thy way, and I may know thee, that I may find grace in my sight, and consider that is, this nation is thy people. And he said, and he said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give 
he rest. Yes, God bless you. Do you see that? That as a child of God, you can be a friend of God. Do you see that Moses, Moses became a friend of God because Moses knew the way of God. When you know the way of God, you will be a friend of God because know his way, you will do everything possible to live for him. And you know that God is not a liar. You know that God cannot thief. You know that God cannot deceive anybody. You know the principle of God. But if you don't know the way of God, you can do anyhow. But when you know his way, you cannot go to work to, do, to live contrary against his way. It's when you know his way, that is only when you can able to live for him. God wants you to know his way. Why? Because he wants to bless you. When you know his way and follow him, he will lead you. You can see Moses, a man called Moses. What happened to Moses? Moses was leading great people out of the land of Egypt, leading them to the promised land. But the time came, Moses said to the Lord, you have not what, you have not even shown me who will go with me in this journey because the journey from earth to heaven is not, is, it is not a, 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 journey, a, a journey that is so easy like that. You need to be guided with the Lord. And if God did not go with you, the journey may become miserable. But when the Lord leads you to that journey, you can never make a mistake. We are talking about the journey of what? Of internal life. Please, blessed and family, stop your camera and sit down proper, please. Let there be no distraction, please. Pay attention proper, please. It is something very, very important for us to know. Know his way. And uh, if you don't know his way, you can follow the children, the other children, the children of Satan. You remember we have discussed who is Satan, is the father of all liars, and uh, he lied to people, he deceived people to destroy people's life. But as the children of God, we need to know when you know God's way, it will direct you. Now Moses said, Now, wherefore I pray thee, if I have found grace in the sight, show me now the way that I may know, I may know thee, that I may, I that I may, that I may find grace in the sight, and consider that this nation is the people. And the Lord said, My presence shall go with thee. And I will give thee rest. If the presence of God go with you in your school, I tell you, my dear, eh, in your school, you will be the best out of all the students. Do you know why? Because God is the wisdom. God is a great lecturer that is greater than every lecturer. Maybe you have been in school. You have not yet known what you want to be in life. You maybe you see that your mom, uh, she's a daughter, or she's a teacher, or you love, or somebody, or your parents is telling you, My daughter, I want you to be a daughter, or I want you to be a engineer, I want you to be an architect. No, it's not like that. You can't choose life that way. You choose life because this is the way of God concerning my life. Do you see that? This is what the Lord is telling me. The Lord wants me to be a daughter, and I want to be a daughter. The Lord wants me, because when you ask God to show you his way, it will direct you of the course you need to read in school. God never what? 
it will never lead you astray. That is what makes him to be the Almighty God. Let's look at a book of uh, Psalm. Psalm, Psalm chapter 25. Let's read from verse 1 to 4. Psalm, 1, Psalm 25, from verse 1 to 4. If, uh, um, if you are there, or you read, you read. Wilfred, daughter, yes. Read. Unto the three, O Lord, do I lift up my soul oh my god i trust in thee let me not be ashamed let me mine enter truthful no over let, let not my enemy my enemy be let not my enemies troubleful over, me. over me yes yeah let no none that wait on three be ashamed let them not be ashamed which trans let them be ashamed which transgress without cause verse four read verse four shame to me with that that they way oh lord teach me Thy path. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Do you see that? Now look at that. Look at that verse four. It says, Show me, show me the ways, O Lord. O Lord, teach me the path. Show me the way. As a child, as you are in school, you need to pray for God to show you what He wants you to be in, in what. In future, what you want it to you want it to be. Don't just wake up today. You said, I want to what? I want to be a psychology, or I want to be a lawyer because I see my friends, they are lawyer. No. What do you need to know? What do you need to do? Lord, show me the way. It is very, very important for you to know God's way. When you know his way, you can never make a mistake in life. Years ago, I never know God's way. Or when I begin to hungry to know his way, and he begin to show me his way, that as a child of God, I cannot tell lies. As a child of God, I cannot steal. As a child of God, I cannot cheat. As a child of God, I cannot fight. As a child of God, I cannot curse anybody. As a child of God, I hope you are you are I hope you are paying attention. And I, I expected you, a child that really want to grow, as a message is going on, not to begin to be disturbed by your parents or by anybody. What do you need to do? You focus and carry your Bible and carry your jota and jot down something that will help you in life. It is something very, very important. And uh, we saw that uh, it is very, very necessary for us to know God's way. When you know his way, you can never make a mistake in, in your life. It is possible for children to know, to know something about God. E.g., salvation is miracle. Is, is miracle. It is very, very important to know all these things. God's best. Never really know him. You know God personally. We cannot know God fully. You cannot able to know the, the uh, how would I call it, uh, to know the full power of God. But you can know little about God. It is uh, something very, very important. We must have we must have a desire, a sincere desire, to be led, to be lead into the righteous way. We must have this sincere desire. 
sincere desire to know God, sincere desire to follow his righteous way. What did I say? No, we must have this word, sincere desire. I repeat so that you can write down. We must have this word, sincere desire, sincere desire to know what? Sincere desire to be led into the righteous way of God and the truth of his word. We need to have this sincere desire. I desire to know his way. I desire to know what he hates and what he loves. I desire to know what, what makes me to be different from other children. I desire to know this God we are talking about. You need to have this great desire to know him. We must also we must also be we must also be enough to wait upon God all the day. You must have this word. You must have patience to wait for God. Wait upon God at all day. Especially this period you are in the school. You see that other children, they are talking about boyfriend, but you must wait that you don't need to talk about boyfriend when you reach, when you, the time comes for you to marry, you will marry. Don't allow your friend to, to push you to do what will offend God. There are many children that look at their friends in school because their friends, they are smokers, they are smoking cigarettes, because they are drinking, because of that, these children also, they commit their self, and at the end, you find out their life, they have made, they have made their, those children, they have destroyed their future. A time ago, there was this little girl, I love her so much, in my city here, this little girl, she was in school. I was encouraging her, not knowing that this small girl engaged of boyfriend and girlfriend. But do you know, before this girl, on that age, she was pregnant. And the girl dropped out of school. I say, I asked the girl question. I say, girl, now, nah, who stopped you? Who stopped future? Is it the boy or the girl? Please. Who stopped the who stopped the who stopped the journey of education? Is it the boy or the girl? It's the girl, sir. It's the girl, sir. Who is the, who is the, who is the wise and who is the fool? The, the boy is the wise and the girl is the fool. The boy is the wise and the girl is the fool. Because who carried the baby? Is it the boy or the girl? The girl, the girl. The girl. And and the boy the will and the boy will continue her study uh, his study. Am I right? Yes, yes, sir. And the girl cannot continue. Do you see that? No. Yes, that, sir. That is the reason why you must not allow any boy to play gamble with your life, my dear sisters. That is why you must separate yourself away from those your friends. So that you will not allow small, small boys to make caricature with your future. Don't allow them to use your life to pray. You know how they all those children are pray ball. Don't allow any anybody to make to use your life to pray ball. And at the end of the day, we dump the ball. It is very very important for you to know God's way. When you know His way, you cannot do this. When you wait upon Him, you will never what you will never make a mistake in your life. It is very very important. And also. I, I hope and favor you are with us this evening. Favor, are you there? Mommy. Favor, are you there? Which favor, sir? Favor from UK. <sighs> okay. Favor, are you there? Where is your sister, Favor? Yes, sir. she's here. Favor, I hope you are okay. Yes. Are you sure you are with us this evening? Yes. Oh. Now, we, we need to look at this other part also. We must humble 
humble submit to God. We must humble submit to God. We must humble submit ourselves to God, to a godly life, a godly living, and fear the Lord. We must humble, we must humble submit ourselves to God in a godly living and fear the Lord. It is very, very important. Many children today, they don't fear the Lord. If you fear the Lord, you will not shout on your mom. If you fear the Lord, when your mom talks to you, you will not be arguing with your mom. I don't know children here. When your mom called you to come and help her to do something, you don't help her. You make her shout on you. You and uh, even some of you, you will be causing your mom in your heart. You will be causing your dad in your heart because your daddy, your mom is telling you to come and do something. But as a child who knows the will of God, you can do that. And it, because it's against the way of God. When you humble, submit to God, and I tell you, and have this godly life and fear the Lord, you cannot go away. But I want you to know this. Sin, sin is, it, it, sin is barren. And the, it's barren, it separates us, it hinders us, and it makes us not to enjoy the way of God, enjoy the blessing of God. Sin, sin is, a, is barren to knowing God and his way, we must forsake sin and be clean and forgiveness and receive forgiveness. It is very, very important for us to work to do this. Since sin is a barren to know God, a sin in the book of Isaiah, chapter 59, if you read it, it said, The hand of the Lord is not short that he cannot save you, neither is ear deaf that he cannot hear. He said, but you what? But your sin has separated you away from God, that when you call, he will not hear you. But now that we all know that sin caused barrier between us and God, what do we need to do? We separate ourselves away from sin. And when we do this, we will really see the blessing of God. It is very so I have a question. Okay. So I wanted to ask, if you know that one of your friends are the problem that you are seeing so much and you are still friends with them, do you have to stop being friends with them or talking to them? Or how should we do it? Okay. If you find out that your, your friend is make, making you see, am I right? Yes, sir. Okay. If what you need to do, such a person, not that you will stop talking to the person, but what you need to do that is in need of giving a gap. And then uh, you begin to preach to that your friend, telling that your friend about Jesus Christ. Telling that person that Jesus Christ is coming. That telling her is not what is not good. It is not your duty to <laughs> preach to that person so that that child can also know the will of God and what and be saved. It is your duty now. Because if you push that person away, you stop not to talk to that person, you cannot, you cannot able to help that person. Because of that, you don't need to what to push that person away, but you need to give that person a gap. Okay. Because evil communication corrupts a good manner. Because of that, you don't need to work to have that person as close friend. That it should be a girl. Okay, sir. God bless okay. you. You want to ask a question? Okay, we go, we go ahead now. It is uh, very, very important for us to be far from this, to not to regard iniquity in our heart. The Lord, if we regard iniquity in our heart, the Lord 
will not hear us. But there's somebody who knows the Lord. Let's read in the book of Psalm 66, verse 18. Psalm 66, verse 18. Are we there? I'm there, sir. Okay. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Yeah, do you see that? If I regard iniquity in my heart, for instance, your mom, your daddy talk to you, and you commit sin inside your heart, you are insulting them, you cause them inside your heart, God will not hear anything you are saying. Or somebody offend you, you didn't forgive the person, or you plan evil against somebody in your heart, and then you regard that thing inside your that iniquity in your heart, that evil, God cannot hear you. When God hears you, it's only when you did not regard iniquity in your heart. It is very, very important. Anybody that knows God's will cannot what cannot regard iniquity in his or her heart. Let's look at them. Um, in the book of um, Psalm 27, verse 11. Psalm 27, verse 11. Psalm 27, verse 11. Psalm 27, verse 11. Any other person there? I'm um, here, yeah, sir. Okay. Great. Teach me the way, O oh Lord, and let me in a pain part because of my enemies. Yes, teach me the way, O oh Lord, and lead me in the path, in the pain part because of my enemy. Teach me the way. Do you see that? There is a need of knowing God's way. When you know his way, he can when and you follow his way. It can never lead you to hellfire. The reason of knowing God's way, so that you can enjoy the blessing that belongs to Him. It's two things happen. If you don't know God's way, you will know Satan's way. Anybody here you want to know Satan's way? Anybody here you want to know Satan's way? But anybody here you want to know God's way? Anybody here, you want to know God's way? And if you know his way, will you follow him? Will you follow him? I'm not hearing you responding. Yes, will you sir. Follow him? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Good, good. It is very, very important. Yes, sir. Thank you. God bless you. It is very, very important for you to know his way. Because when you don't know his way, you are in darkness. But what is, the, what is God's way God wants us to know? What is his way? His way is a, is a holy way. His way is the way, remember Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In the book of uh, John chapter 14, verse 6. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. Jesus is that way that will lead you to heaven. And when you don't follow that way, you cannot reach heaven. What is his way? His way is a holy way. His way is a way that, a way that does not accept sin. His way is different for the, for the way of Satan. But as the children of God, we need to know him more and more so that we can able to work, to face the situation that are in the world. You know, we are in, the, we are in another, another generation, a generation whereby in the school where you are going, Teachers, they are telling you lesbianism, homosexual is not anything, it's not a sin. That uh, you can have a sexual e-tanker 
without having proven all these are lie, all these are what are, are, are the way of Satan. They are telling you that if your mom or your dad do you anything, you can call police. You don't need to respect them. All these are the way of Satan that you should not follow that way. But as a child of God, you know that is what the sin of Sodom and Gomorrah, that is what they are bringing today to the school. Telling you, even some of the teachers, they are, they are into les, uh, lesbian, lazy, they are into gay, and then now they are little many children, they are little many children astray. But that is a sin that Sodom and Gomorrah committed. God destroyed that nation because it's abomination. But today in the school, they are teaching all these things in the school to direct, to go to the way of Satan. But the Lord don't want you to follow that way because it's a, it's a, it's a wrong way, the, the way that will that lead to destruction. Because of that, don't follow that way so that you can have what you can have peace with your with your maker. Praise the Lord. Now we look at uh, in the book of uh, Psalm, Psalm 86, verse 11. Psalm 86. Verse 11. Psalm 86. Verse 11. Is um teach me thy way, O Lord, and I will walk in thy truth unto my heart to fear thy name. Yes, God bless you. He said, Teach me. The way, oh Lord, <laughs> I will walk in the truth until, until my heart to fear the name. Teach me what the way. This evening, we are going to pray for God to teach you His way. Oh Lord, I will walk in the truth that I will not tell lie. I will walk. In your fear, I will walk. I will walk and live for you, and I will follow you to the end of this journey. Okay, God, I off your video because you are not sitting down. That is why. I want you to sit down proper and pay attention. Because of that, I have to off your video. Is that okay? Eh? Okay, so I'm very sorry. I will not do it again. I'm very oh. sorry. Okay, and I will not off you again, okay? Okay, sir. Okay. It is very, very important when we ask God to teach us his way, God will never say no. He will not teach us his way. Children, and when you walk in the truth, you will never have problem in your life. When you walk in the truth, you will never have problem. Let other children tell I. Are there no children here? Let me, I want to ask now. If you know throughout this week that passed, you lied to your mom or to your dad, just raise up your hand. Just wave your hand. Don't lie. If you know that you lie to your mom, you lie to your daddy, just wave your hand. Don't lie. You know a liar will go to hell fire. Just wave your hand if you lie to your mom. If you lie to your dad, I want to see your hand. If you didn't answer me simply, you are, you are still lying to me. If you just know that you lie to your mom or to your dad, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Just wave your hand. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, but there are, there are some of you, you are shy, you are shy to raise up your hand. There are some of you here, you are shy, you know that you lie to your mom, you lie to your daddy, you lie to somebody, maybe you lie to somebody else. Just wave your hand. I want to see your hand. I want you to, I want you to speak the truth. Now we are talking of speaking the truth. I'm so, <laughs> are you raising your hand or not? Eh? 
Ari, I can't hear you. So I didn't understand what to say. My I mom said, was saying something. I said, if you lie to your mom, if you lie to your dad, if you lie to anybody this week, just raise up your hand. That is what I said. <laughs> if you lie, don't, if, if, you know that if you are, as I said, raise up your hand, you didn't raise up your hand, you are still lying to me again. Raise up your hand as I raise my hand. You see my hand up now. <laughs> don't, don't do like this. So that, no, I want you to, I want you to do it in sincerity. Like this, raise it up, raise it up. Straight your hand, straight your hand, straight your hand. I'm not, no, some of you are not straightening it. Straight it, straight it like this. <laughs> straight it. Let them all be ashamed. Okay, okay. Children, God bless all of you. God bless all of you. I am happy. You know why I'm happy with you people? I'm happy that I see you that you are really following the truth. You know that we have talked about this before, that you as a child of God, you are not permitted to tell lie. You know why? Eh? Because as you tell lie, you can, Jesus Christ cannot lie. If Jesus cannot lie, and don't you know that you are a child of God, and the Bible said, all liars, Harriet, can you remind me that, that place in the Bible where the Bible tells us all liars will go to where? All liars will go to where? To hell. Fire. Okay. If you want to go to hell, continue to tell lies. But if you don't want to go, don't tell lies. And I believe there is no one that wants to go to hell. I, I didn't I didn't tell a lie to my mom or my dad, but to somebody else. Yeah, it's still the same thing. As yes, tell I know, her, but like not to my parents. Uh -huh, even though it's not to your parents, you're not supposed to do that. Now I show you a place in the Bible before we continue our message. In Revelation, turn with me in Revelation chapter 22. In Revelation chapter 22, verse 15. I want favor to read favor from UK. Favor, are you there now? I'm in the answer. Revelation, Master. Revelation chapter 22, verse 15. Okay, for without our dogs and sauces and war mongers and mothers, adulterers, and whosoever loveth and make it a lie. 16. And Jesus have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in churches. I'm not the root of the offspring of David and the bright of morning of star. Of okay, star. Stop, stop there. God bless you. Do you see that? If yes. you read, uh, if you read it, um, if you read it from verse uh, from verse 14 it says blessed are they that do his commandment that they may have right to the tree of life and they may enter may enter in through the gates gates into the city and uh, you can see that verse 15 anybody that tell lie such person cannot work cannot enter the kingdom of God. Because of that, you and you and I are not permitted to tell lies. You and I are not permitted to what? To tell lies. To commit sin. If you read the book of 1 John chapter 3, you know we have, we have treated that before. It said, he that committed sin, 1 John chapter 3 verse 8, he that committed sin is of the devil. Let somebody else read it there. In First John, Harriet, are you there? You can read. Harriet, are you there? First, Sir. Read First John chapter three, verse eight. Okay. Are, are you with us, or you are doing something else there? Um. Yes. Sir. Mm, sir. Yeah. First John chapter three, verse eight says, "He that committed sin is of the devil." For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Yes, God bless you. Do you see that? Because of that, we must not tell lie anymore. We must not commit sin. 
what you 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 need to separate yourself but when you know that is, this is the reason why it's very very important to know god's way when you know his way you cannot do those things you used to do because when you know his way you follow his way and then you live by it and then he will direct you now children we have come to the end of this program of knowing, of talking about, show me that way. There is a name for us to cry this evening. We are going to read this last place of the scripture and then we pray. In the Psalm 119, verse 33. Psalm 119, verse 33. One hundred and nineteen, verse thirty-three. Are we there? No, yes, sir. sir. <coughs> Teach me, O Lord, the way of statutes, and I shall keep unto the end. Okay. Now, he said, "Teach me, O Lord, the way of the statutes." And I will what, and I shall keep it unto the end. What is starting? Who can tell us what is starting? Who can try? Nobody. Start is me. Your standard. Your way. Your word, your commandment, statutes, your standard. It is very, very important for us to work to know all these things. This evening, I want us to. I don't know if we have question. If we don't, so, so that before we pray, do we have question? Do we have question? When we come back, okay, go ahead. What is your question? Are we, are, good evening, sir. Are good we still evening. doing Bible quotation? That is not what we are teaching here now. I'm talking of uh, the what we what we learned so far. We are coming to that. I say the recitation is still continue. You are going to get another one so that. You can continue studying your own now, fast, fast, before, because we are going to have another one on the, the last Sunday of next month. But I'm talking of uh, the teaching of today. If we have questions about our lesson of today. No question? So I have a question. I have, I have a question. question. Okay. Go ahead, first from UK. What is your question? My question is, if you have a friend that has problem and she will force you to be a friend, do you still need to be a friend or try to help her? And the person have a problem? Yes. Okay. And um, if you can still, if you can have, help that person? Yes. She have a problem and then she's, she's asking of your help or what? She's forcing me to be a friend. Okay, now you don't allow people to choose you as friend. You are the one that will choose the type of friend you want in your life. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. You are the one that will choose the type of friends you need in your life. Because if you have wrong friends, they can lure you astray. They can they can deceive you. It is very very important for you to be careful of those you make friends with. Such a person, if the person need your help, if you have opportunity to help the person, you can help the person. That's what makes you to be a Christian. When you help the person, give the person gap. If you find out that. Your spirit did not accept, accept you to have that person as a friend. 
give the person gap whenever the person need your help if you can help the person help the person is that okay yes sir yes it's very very important for that okay god bless yes. you now we take question we take your question from jimmy Go ahead. Um, my question was so we all seemed already so if we ask god for a check check second second chance we still give it to us or yes he will the, okay. reason, the reason why he allowed this message to come is to give you second chance for you to repent for those things you are doing so that you will not continue continue with those things you are doing and he has given you the second chance to hear his truth so that you can change and make amendment on your way and be saved that is the chance the second chance god has given to you right now you will not be the one right now to say no i have made up my mind not to what not to continue the way i used to live before it is very very important okay yes sir okay any other question i'm not hearing you i believe willie fred Wilfred, fred daughter i believe you have a question eh? i'm you okay to... sir okay you want to say something before no okay now let us pray if we don't have questions let's bow down our head as we pray i want you to bow down and close your eyes and tell the lord to show you his way tell him lord i want to really know your way i don't want to make a mistake in my life i don't want to make a mistake in my education i want to really know what you want me to be in life lord reveal it to me show me what you want me to be in life tell god to help you tell god to help you for you to be what he wants you to be pray right now tell god i need your happy hand to know your way I want to live for you. I don't want to live contrary against your will. Eternal Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless you this evening for giving us the privilege to come before you. Father, here are the children. You are preparing, Lord, my Father, to bring revival to the world. Lord, the children have come to know your way. Heavenly Father, they cannot do without you. But with you, they can do all things. Therefore, a eternal rock of age. Help these children to know your way. Direct them, my Father, and see them through. That it reveal to them what you want them to be. Show them your proper way. Daddy, in their academic, Lord, he showed them, my father, the course you want them to read, not the course they want to read. Oh, Heavenly Father, help these children that they will not be carried away by the things of this world, by the, oh Lord, by social media or by games that are out there. Heavenly Father, help them, my father, that the children of Satan, we not conquer these children that the children of Satan will not separate these children away from you holy father i pray you bless them with your wisdom bless them with your knowledge and bless them with your understanding that at the end of this journey we will have the cause to glorify lord hold their hand lord uphold these children that they will not stop their journey in halfway what stop other children will not stop this one what key other children will not kill these children lord my father the future of these children they are in your hands 
Father, I know that as they are in your hand, their future will be bright. Daddy, make their future bright in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I pray for their parents that you will bless their parents, you will provide for their parents, you will help their parents to raise these children in the fear of the Lord. That their parents will be an example to them. Their parents, oh Lord, my father, will not be a stumbling block to them. Their parents will not be, oh Lord, will not bring shame to your name. Heavenly Father, help them, my father, in glory. And at the end of this journey, we will have the cause to glorify your name. Blessed be the holy name, Father. Lord, I pray the blood of Jesus Christ over these children. Let your blood speak for them. Let your blood protect them. Let your blood deliver them. Blessed be the holy name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.